everyone. Welcome in to uh, Vlogtober slash Crochettober 2021. I'm Deborah of Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. If you're new here, thank you for coming by. Uh, if you've been here for a while, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate you. Uh, always check the description below for more fun that could be had. And do that for all the videos that you watch, all the content creators that you watch. A lot of times there's stuff in the description that, you know, you could learn a little bit more or have a little bit more fun. Anyhow, this is a little creation that I've actually had for a few years. Um, I made this to be able to wear to work um, one Halloween. And I had this and I had a whole bunch of other cute stuff on. And it's, it's done on headbands. There's a lot of uh, glue action going on in here. There's flowers. There's that big sparkly bunny right there. Yes. So I wanted to pull it out and wear it again. And actually, pull it out of somewhere is not exactly accurate. I have this one tall thing in my bathroom that it kind of hangs off of all the time along with some other headband. So yeah, I do leave it out year round because, well, I'm me. Yes, today's video is a little bit late, later than I'd like, because there was overtime. Yes, that's actually a good thing. I mean, working, not so much. You know, I'd love to win, you know, one of those stupid huge lottery prizes and be filthy rich. But overtime helps pay those bills and your girl got to pay some bills. So, did that today. Um, there'll be some work tomorrow and probably some overtime tomorrow. And then I'll be working Saturday for a few hours of overtime as well. But then I'm hoping the weather holds out to be going to Mad World this weekend. Yes! I've been looking forward to that all year long. And even after last year. <laughs> as soon as I'm done going, I want to go back. So there is that. Uh, crochet news and stuff. The Pick and Mix Cow, that's Lisa Ladybird Loves, Crochet Along, um, picked the stuff today. I have not started crocheting on it yet for this week. It'll probably take me a hot minute to get there. But it's going to be week three is color number four. My color number four is a color called Erin. It's a Red Heart Super Saver. And it's this very neutral, sort of a creamy, not white. Yeah. And it's a stitch that I have to look up, just like every stitch. And this is going to be the linen stitch. Um, that's part of the fun of this cow, is I get to learn a whole bunch of new stitches that I haven't done before. I get more familiar, not just watching someone do it once and going, oh, okay, I got it. Because I don't got it. Um, but actually doing them and doing them for rows at a time. So I am looking forward to doing that and getting that going. Um, my little handy dandy bag for that in the big project bag for that. As for my blanket, well, I have just gotten started on this is today's. That's it. At lunchtime, I had to record a hat. Well, I didn't have to, but I mean, I got happy mail, so I recorded it and posted it. I hope you saw that earlier. I won an Instagram giveaway, and um, that went up at lunch today. So then I ate some lunch, which usually I, I eat my lunch and, on my first break, but this morning I wasn't feeling that, so I had my leftovers at lunchtime today, which gave me a lot less time to crochet. This is the blanket. I know, right? Yes, I am absolutely loving this. And I had somebody ask me the other day, um, yeah, my friend Sean asked me, and he's like, how big is that thing gonna get? I said, well, we are currently on the 21st. This is day 21 of Vlogtober slash Crochettober, by the way. I know I didn't say that at first, but y'all get over it, right? Good, I thought, I knew you would. Um, so we've got another 10 days, including today. There'll be today plus 10 more days. So that's 10 more rounds. And you figure, let me see how big 10 rounds is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So another this far on each side. So four times that. This is going to be a good size. I am going to lay this colorful beauty out on the bed and just enjoy it because it is colorful. There's all kinds of colors in here. There's muted soft colors. There's bright, bold colors. Like this pink that I'm putting on there right now. It's a color called grenadine. It's a super saver color. And I didn't just use scrap balls because honestly, I don't have enough scrap balls to do that. So I picked some stuff off the shelf. Now I have picked up yarn at Goodwill and stuff before, like one-offs. And I'm like, why not? If it's acrylic, it looks about four weight. Let's use it. 
So that's what I've been doing. And that's why sometimes I will also pick up clearance yarn, um, pick up a skein of something that I might have a use for and might not. I figure if nothing else, it'll eventually be able to be used in a towel topper because that's still a going thing, towel toppers. I just haven't had a lot of time. Um, also, you may have heard about the Lion Brand clearance sale and Hershner's had a sale. I've been a bad, bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> so there will be stuff coming in. Yeah. There was other happy mail today that I didn't bother showing. It was a car part. Um, not that I ever get really thrilled about car parts necessarily, unless it's something fun to put in the car. Uh, no, this is the fuse box for the, the internal fuse box for the car because the one that was in there needed to be replaced. So that is here. Now we have to do it. And I'm pretty convinced that in order to work on cars these days, you have to be a little person, you have to be a contortionist, and you have to be tiny. Because I can't get up in there. This fuse thing. Now, if I'm sitting in my car and I drive a Nissan Altima, which is not a tiny car. I mean, it's not huge, but it's, it's a good sized car. Um, the fuse box is if you take your left hand and you put it under the dashboard, okay, like you're doing a kilt check, all right, on your car. If you don't know, don't ask. Trust me. Um, you pull the panel off. Great, the panel's off, right? The panel tells you what each fuse does and everything. That is handy, flipping dandy, right? Get to it. Go on, I dare ya. I had to get on the ground with a flashlight and kind of turn my head upside down to see it. And I finally just gave up and stuck my phone down there and took a flash picture to see what in the heck was going on with it. And yeah, that's when we found out, oh, where I'm trying to put the fuse, that's why it's loose. It won't stay in there. It's burnt up. Not the fuse. The place where you put the fuse, the little slot. And I'm sure it has a technical name. Don't at me, okay? Just don't. <laughs> so hopefully that will get taken care of in the next couple of days. I have a package I need to mail out. I have some postcards I need to mail out, um, which means going to the post office. And, uh... I could walk, sure. It would take me several hours to get there, but I could walk. Yeah, there, there's nothing walkable out here where I am. <laughs> really, there isn't. So this evening I am going to work on my blanket. <laughs> my one little cluster is all that's done for today's, but I will get there because I can do this while watching TV. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Don't know quite what's for dinner yet. Um, I'm not even hungry because I had my leftovers. I had uh, penne pasta and marinara and uh, garlic bread. I eat the red sauce. The hubby can't eat the red sauce. He loves tomatoes just fine. They don't love him. They make him very, very ill. So when we have stuff like that, he uses a different sauce and I get my tomato sauce, which I love. I make a marinara on my own. Last night I made it a little bit different. I had a big can of crushed tomatoes. So I used that plus tomato paste and a little anchovy paste. Yes, okay, here's what I do. A little mini cooking lesson on a Vlogtober, okay? Put some olive oil in a pan, get your fire going, medium, medium, low. I use anchovy paste in a squirty thing so I don't have to deal with the jar and opening anchovies. And don't turn your nose up, okay? Anchovies, you don't don't even think of the fish. It adds just a savory umami flavor to it. it, it it's not fishy whatsoever when you use it as an ingredient like that. Um, so I put that on the olive oil and just start to cook it a little bit. Then I get the paste in there, the tomato paste, because you want to cook that raw flavor out of the tomato paste. Stir that around while it's cooking a little bit and it'll get incorporated together. You get the anchovy paste and the tomato paste and they just kind of become one thing. Then I usually take... Uh, minced garlic, a lot of minced garlic, because I like my sauce garlicky. Blunka blunka, lots of garlic, stir that around in there. While that's cooking a little bit, you want to give it a little pinch of salt. And you want to take that jar, that the, the, the can that you got the tomato paste out of, fill it up with water, stir it around, pour it in there, and get it all incorporated, okay? Then it starts to cook a little bit more. 
Then last night, instead of using uh, the diced tomatoes, I used the crushed tomatoes. So I didn't add any diced tomatoes at all. Added that all in. I gave it a little taste. It needed a little salt, definitely. It needed a pinch of sugar. And that, that may sound strange. You just take, um, I ended up adding, this is for like a, a huge can of crushed tomatoes and all of that, probably a little under a teaspoon, a measuring teaspoon of sugar, okay? A little salt, a bunch of Italian seasoning, a little more garlic, a little, or garlic powder, like granulated garlic, because that actually adds a different garlic flavor. And a little bit of wash. Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire. I don't know how to say it, but I've been using it for years. Put a little bit of that in there. That's a little extra interesting umami flavor. And just let it simmer. Turn it on a nice low heat while you're cooking your pasta and you're making your bread and doing the thing. Just walk by and stir it every now and then so it doesn't splash everywhere. Boom, you've got a good marinara sauce. It's what I do. No, there's not a recipe. It's just I spin around the kitchen for a few minutes and I emerge with a sauce. Kind of like the Tasmanian devil. When I get in the kitchen and I start going from one thing to another and grabbing all the things, people move out of the way. It's amazing. The power. I have the power. No, I don't have the power. But anyway. <laughs> Hope to see you very, very soon around here. The regular Saturday vlogging video will be coming on Saturday. Tomorrow there is a tutorial. Um, if I get more mail in, there'll be some more happy mail and uh just all the usual usual shenanigans alrighty thanks for coming by i appreciate you being here if you haven't already please subscribe hit that little notification bell because youtube gets kind of goofy and doesn't let you know i've got a video unless you tell it you want to know that i've got a video and yes this month there are a lot of videos there won't be nearly as many coming up in the future this is just an experiment for me doing vlogtober i have never done a video every day omg okay See y'all very, very soon. Bye now.